In this video, I'm just going to go through the learning process for batching. So, how you want to practice and how you want to then actually do the puzzle when you really want to get a good data report. So, first of all, as always, as I suggest to anyone learning a new puzzle, don't care about the data report. Right? That's number one sin when you're learning a new puzzle is caring about the result. It, it doesn't work, you know, you've just got to not care. Alright, so you can, you've got to be able to just booch like this and you know, just have a fiddle about. You know, oops, I've just messed that one up again. And because I've spent so long sort of messing around and experimenting with this, the wind's going to come along and I'm going to booch. Oh well. We're not bothered at this stage. Remember that first stage is all about just slow practice. So here, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to really practice going towards the tie-off, okay? That's all I'm practicing at the moment. There we go, I've done that. And do a bit of practice and you just keep doing that again and again nice and slowly until you get into the flow of it so here you know I'm not very confident at the moment so all you want to try and do is replace these with some nice simple pieces tie it off and not worry about the rest of the board okay practice one thing at a time I don't know, that, that'll do me. I've got a grommet in, I'm practicing. And then once you get the hang of that, then you can start trying to do some other stuff. Okay, so let's do that and that. Yeah, that's not quite gone to plan, nor is that. So I'm just going to have a fiddle. And then I'm going to have a look around, see if I can reorganize this board because I'm just practicing right now. So how, how could I have used this piece? Well, I don't really have a clue, so I'm just going to start sticking anyway. You know, this is how you find out things. Yeah, that didn't really help. What did that? Let's just mix things up, I don't know. Uh, the wind comes along, yeah, it's no biggie. You don't worry about it. And if you're getting to the level where the wind's getting a bit faster and you don't like it, then you can use these grommets and unravel them. You can see there, the wind comes along and the timer goes back. Now, this isn't really a technique you want to use very often when you're actually doing the puzzle well, but when you're practicing and you want you know, a bit of t time, then it's a pretty good thing to use. Okay. Now, when you start to get better and you want to you start to think, you know, I want I want to get a good do trip out of this. Now, you know, bear in mind it, this took me, you know, a good several hours to try and do. Okay, to get to the point where I started saying, you know, let, let's get a good do trip port. You know, it's a tricky puzzle, you've got to learn it. And it's not something that happens instantly. I've no idea how you do this, but but this is why you practice. You know, eventually you figure out you can't do this. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Uh, when you're in practice, you just want to do it instinctively. So see here, I'm just going to start putting pieces around. There's no advanced planning involved. 
I'm I'm just learning sort of the like the estimates and the rough ideas. So I'm just using the rough ideas that I've gained through practice. And I'm just kind of having at it. Remember the grommets are the most important thing, so that's why I just swap that piece out. The reason I know how to do that is that I've gone really slowly and I've practiced it. And once you've done that, you'll be able to do it instinctively just like this. But it takes a little time. You can't just do it for five minutes and expect to know it. 